what is going on bro welcome to another video this is my first time ever trying an iced latte you guys know i like my hot lattes two shots of espresso on here cinnamon dolce it's because it's hot out it's really good it tastes like a latte but it's cold there's something kind of dangerous about our new apartment we just moved into that i didn't realize like it's a serious safety hazard you can see this starbucks from our balcony and you guys know that bitches love starbucks it is very dangerous Anyway, speaking of women, the year is now 2021, and the fact is that most of the dating game takes place on your phone. Like, that's just how it is. So even if you're killing it talking to girls and getting their numbers, you're getting a lot of numbers off of dating apps, if you don't know what to do after that, you're gonna consistently fail to turn numbers into actual dates, which is why today I wanna give y'all, let's call it three laws for texting, that if you implement these things, and I'm also gonna give you some very specific texts that you can send, it's gonna completely change the game for you. So I think it's pretty accepted that like, the most annoying part of texting is that girls, like they play games. They can do weird shit and get away with it, but then if you try and play a game immediately, boom, you got ghosted. The girl didn't respond. And like, this is true from my experience. It's also from talking to guys in my coaching program, just talking to my friends. It seems like it's something every dude struggles with. So for example, I was talking to a bro yesterday. He was telling me about this girl he was texting where basically he asked her, what days are you free this week? She said, Tuesday or Wednesday, schedule's pretty open. So he said, all right, awesome. Tuesday, let's grab a coffee, go for a walk in the park. I know the perfect spot. And then she got back to him and said something like, uh, actually, I'll have to check my schedule. I I'm, I'm not sure. And he was like, David, what, like, what the fuck? She literally told me she was free. And then a message later, she told me she doesn't know if she's free. And he ended up messaging this girl back and forth for like another hour and then asking her again. Uh, so how about Tuesday? And he got left on red. So let me ask you a question, bro. What is the most powerful text message a girl can send you that after she sends it immediately, you're like, oh my God, I, I really want this girl. I, I want to text her more. I want her to text me back more. Think about it a second. I'm gonna be honest, it's actually a little bit of a trick question. The answer is when she does not reply to your last message. Like think back to the last time a girl didn't reply to your last message. Immediately your mind starts racing. Did I do something wrong? What message can I send her next to get me to text to get her to text me back? Like where do I go from here? Well you gotta realize that the same thing works in reverse. Like when you don't text a girl back, that's the most powerful message you can send. And I'm not saying just to randomly not text girls back, but I'm saying when a girl tries to play games with you and she sends some weird ass message like she did with my friend or maybe you know something happened to me before the day of a date girls would say something weird like oh let's actually go meet up with my friends here instead the only way you're gonna let her know that like that's not cool that's some weird shit you did is to not reply no message you craft up is gonna be as powerful as you not replying Julia come here a second tell them tell them that I'm speaking facts here if a guy doesn't text you back what do you think uh, I'd immediately be checking my phone and being like, what did I do wrong? Did I say something? And we're just so used to guys always replying no matter what we say. So it's, a, it's putting us in our place, but also it's gonna make us be like, uh, yeah, actually I am free on Tuesday because you want the girl to be like, fuck, I messed up. Yeah, man, I can tell you from experience, it's tough to do this and to not send something back because you're like, oh, but I need to tell her something. Have some self-control hold yourself back and I promise a lot of these cold leads, these girls are getting a little flaky. They're gonna come right back and they're not gonna play games anymore. Gains, baby. Bruh. Wait, wait, wait. Gains, bruh. bruh. This leg day got me feeling a little crazy, man. Woo! I'm gonna say after a hard leg like hard leg day like this, I feel like I deserve a lot of tacos. You know what? Never let somebody tell you that you need to do a hard workout to deserve tacos. You deserve tacos every day of the week, bro. Torchies today, which I always say is overrated because I mean like these two tacos here, the crossroads and the chicken fajita, these are always fire. The problem is their breakfast tacos are no bueno. And breakfast tacos are at least 50% of the equation, probably like 75%, but I haven't tried these out in a while, so I'm trying to be fair here. It's like a seven out of 10, it's not bad. Anytime I eat breakfast tacos somewhere that's not taco way though, I feel like I'm cheating on them. 
And speaking of cheating, something else that's cheating, like a cheat code in a good way, is using Tej Hanley. And that's why I decided to partner with Tej Hanley to be the sponsor of today's video. So check it out. Tej Hanley is straight up the best skincare system out there for dudes like you and me because it's simple, it's easy to use, and it works. If you sign up, they're going to send you a box just like this one here that contains... Well, first of all, you get this instruction card telling you exactly what to use, how much to use, but you're going to get this combination of different creams and lotions that have been formulated specifically to work together and give you clear, healthy skin that's going to make you more attractive and that's going to boost your confidence. For example, you're going to get their daily face wash. I use this every day. This is clutch as well as some other stuff like their nighttime and morning moisturizer. This one's awesome during the summertime because it's got some sun protection too. And the best part is all of this is made from top of the line ingredients like collagen, vitamin B3, eucalyptus, which would normally cost you an arm and a leg. But because Tees Hanley sells directly to the consumer, they're able to offer it for a super affordable price. And because they're sponsoring today's video, if you click that first link in description, you're going to get the best possible price on your first box of Tees Hanley. And they're even throwing in a free gift. What are you doing, bro? Check it out. When it comes to texting, there's a few kind of like ground rules that every dude should follow. And these are things that maybe aren't groundbreaking. Like I've probably gone over all of these in past videos, even though maybe it's been a minute for some of them. But as humans, we have this problem that we're only able to see the world from our own lens and we only know our own experiences. And it kind of makes us all think that we're special cases. Or you're, you're, you're a little unique snowflake, you're special. And you know, a lot of times when a guy shows me a, a string of texts, and he's asking me like what went wrong here i'm like bro like like why you you clearly broke some of these really basic rules what's going down and they're like yeah but man like you wouldn't understand it's because i met this girl at the office or i met this girl at the gym it's a little different or this girl is different than other girls man or I, i'm not like other guys so i didn't think that would work for me there and to be fair i've broken these rules myself in the past like repeatedly because i also used to think i was a special case here are the rules though First of all, response time. If a girl's taking 30 minutes to an hour to text you back on average, you need to wait minimum 30 minutes to get back to her. If she's taking one to two hours, you need to wait one hour minimum. Second of all is text length. So if it, on average her messages are just one or two lines of text, you can't be over here sending novels. You also gotta keep it to just one or two lines of text. Three, do not double text. If you forgot to say something in the first text, it's all right, man. Don't send it. Take a breath, don't send it. And last, you want to use questions, especially like the first few texts you send a girl into with a question to make it easier for her to reply. Like, bro, if I was to ask you, have you ever lost a girl because you texted her too much? You can probably think of a few examples over the last few months. I lost a lot of girls because I texted them too much. You just get in this mindset like, oh, well, if I just send one more message, maybe she'll like me enough to go on a date with me. If I was to ask you, all right, bro, have you ever lost a girl because you didn't text her enough? Think about that. You would be bullshitting me if you said that's happened to you in the past. The fact is you are not special. Human emotions and attraction follows a very predictable sequence and texting a girl less is always going to give you better results. Just like that little edge photo shoot complete. The next launch coming soon, guys. Like, we have some serious fire. We got some serious fire about to launch. I don't think y'all ready for this. Stay tuned. Big shout out to Justin over here with the dope angles. Man, all day. It's been good. I can't wait for you guys to see this. His camera is insane. Andrew, making the edge look sexy. I appreciate you, bro. What's good, Beast Nation? Yeah, absolutely. Super pumped. Be on the lookout for his clothing, guys. And Dalton, he's helped us out with a couple shoots now. I appreciate him, man. Yeah, it's awesome getting to work with David and do shoots for Ed, so I really appreciate him. Alright, All right, let me ask you a question, bro. Why do you text girls? Seriously, think about that a minute. Do you text them because you just want someone to talk to? Maybe you text them because you like having some female validation, you know, you like knowing that a girl is texting you back, or maybe it's because you actually would like to meet up with her someday and hook up with her, or maybe you want it to turn into something else. 
I can tell you, you know, when I got to the point where I was actually getting girls' numbers and texting them, I was just so happy to have some female attention that I think I just enjoyed texting them just to get a response. Even though deep down I wanted to go on a date, I used to do what I called texting for emojis, where I just try and send, you know, clever, teasing messages to girls so they text me back some LOLs and some emojis, and guess what? I was not. I was not getting laid very much at that time. Yeah, I, I was getting some emojis though. This is probably the most important law that you're gonna learn in this video. Every single text you send a girl needs to have a purpose. Before you send a message, stop for a second to ask yourself, what is this text going to accomplish? And if you can't think of a good answer, don't send it. Let's run through a little example so you can see what I'm talking about. Let's say I met a girl at the gym Right when I get her number, I'm gonna text her, you know, hey Sarah, it's David. The purpose being, now she knows who's texting her. If you wait, she might forget who's texting her. I like to text her right away. You know, she might say hi. Then I get back home later that night, and then I'm gonna send her a text. Usually the first text, I like to use callback humor. So if we talked about cooking dinner, I might say, I'm struggling to make this guac. Any tips? Again, the point being, it's gonna call back something we talked about. It's gonna remind her of the emotions she had when we were talking. She might say, LOL, don't forget the lime. Then I might say, definitely forgot that. How's your night going? The purpose of this is I'm transitioning into a conversation. Uh, you know, a lot of times in the past, I'd make the mistake of being like, oh, she texted me back about the guacamole, and then I'd send like, you know, five more messages about guacamole and cooking, but there was no purpose. It was just a sidetrack that, that would fuck me. Anyway, she might get back to me and say, haha, uneventful, just chilling, watching some Grey's Anatomy. What about you? Then I might say, oh no, don't tell me you're one of those girls. What's the purpose here? The purpose is to tease her, and you know, push her away a little bit, just, just spice it up a little bit. And I might not even need to send this to be honest, that's not that important of a purpose. Maybe she'd say, don't judge me. And again, rather than going on a, a tangent, asking her about all the TV shows she likes and the movies she likes, which there'd be no purpose for, I'd say, I'll let it slide this time. Do you wanna hang out later this week? And the purpose of that is the golden purpose move the conversation towards setting up the date. You really don't need to wait more than two or three text messages to do this, bro. Kind of like we talked to point two, sending girls more text messages is a bad thing because inevitably the more messages you send a girl, the less purposeful they're gonna become and the more you're gonna fall into the trap of just texting for emojis and texting for validation. Like seriously, if you struggle to turn numbers into dates, then go watch that conversation back because that's all the work you need to do. You don't need to let a girl get to know you better. That's just an excuse that you're telling yourself because you're afraid to pull the trigger. The whole point of the date is to get to know the girl. If a girl ever tells you, oh, you know, I kinda wanna text more, I don't, I don't know you that good yet. Reply to her and say, that's the whole point of the day, silly. And if she still pushes back after that or she doesn't respond, chances are that girl was never gonna go on a date with you and you just saved yourself a bunch of time and frustration. And that is all I got for this video. I hope that that all made sense, bro. If you're still watching, I appreciate you. Hit the thumbs up button. If you're new to the channel, click subscribe and turn notifications on because I drop two new videos every single week and you do not wanna miss them. I will talk to all of y'all in the next video. Stay beastly.